Hello and welcome back to Fem Design video lessons. In this video, you will learn how to add self weight to your structure. In here, you can see that I am in the loads tab currently. From here, I'm gonna click load cases. And here, you can see that I have already added a couple load cases here, but mainly that I have added dead load and set it type to be structural dead load. When you set the dead load, you will always need to uh, remember to set type to be structural dead load. In this way, the fem design will know that you will would like to have the self weight for the structures as this in this load case. If we go a little bit further, you can see that I have dead load open here. However, I haven't put any load cases or draw any load cases here. Uh, from load groups, I have added dead load group and set the type to be permanent. And in here, I have my load case data also. In load combinations, I have already generated uh, the load cases here. And if you want to generate them, you can always go to load cases and here you can see the load groups and when you add the dead load here and set the load combinations you want to generate, you will get the dead loads in your load combinations. In the analysis tab, we can go and check if our self weight is being added to our structure. In the loads, you could see that I have not drawn any loads here, so only the structural dead load should be seen in the analysis. In here, let me just quickly hide the current result. I can select from quick tools, results, analysis, and here from the load cases, I can check it by selecting reactions, load cases, and dead load. Now I can see that my structure is causing uh, reactions to my model and I can still check for example as translational displacements as a graph here I can see that the dead load is acting on my model. So this is all for this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one.